teammates sometimes don't get along. K. Sam brought down. It's short of a first down. You know that. You played the game. Some guys get along. I mean, it can't be a harmonious environment all the time. And obviously, Nick Lewis and Sandro DeAngelis didn't see eye to eye. But there are a lot of guys on that Calgary squad will tell you that Sandro DeAngelis was a great teammate. Yeah, you don't have to be the best of friends. You've just got to get along for three hours once a week. The Calgary Stampeders clearly managed to do that. Star of the day so far, Marcus Thigpen. Four touchdowns in two weeks. Two today. Burke Dales, big breeze behind him. Thigpen from his 35, dodges one, finds a seam. Penalty marker down. And that flag likely will be an illegal block. We'll find out when we come back to Iverwind Stadium. Stamps by one. Well, the sack attack continues as always from our friends at Purilator. The sack tally brought to you by Purilator, tackling hunger across Canada. Check. Winnipeg Blue Bombers with eight sacks over two weeks. The Edmonton Eskimos just a lone sack. We'll try to add to that tomorrow. Penalty was against Hamilton on the return with an illegal block, so. Backed up inside their 30. Play action, Glenn. And Dave Stout, a little razzle-dazzle here to Arlan Bruce. I'm picturing our buddy Matt Dunnigan pulling out his hair back in the studio. The Hamilton Tiger Cats getting a little bit wild offensively. Fake the toss, Glenn counters. A little hook and ladder, Stout to Bruce. Land. Little out pattern and Maurice Mann hanging on. His second catch as a tie cat. You know, you talked about the hook and ladder play. Was there one that was any more famous than Dryson James, the Hamilton Tiger Cats? Boise State, Fiesta Bowl. His quarterback back in those days, another CFLer, Edmonton Eskimos, Jared Zabransky. One of the great plays in NC2A history. Led to another great play. Here is a good play by Kevin Glenn. Little hook slide for a first down over the midfield strike. That's what we call a key breaker. When you're the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Kevin Glenn doesn't keep very often. That's what Justin Phillips is thinking when he bites on the run fake. He heads down inside. Kevin Glenn breaks contain. Pick up the first down. That is his first run of the day. Good call from offensive coordinator Mike Gibson. Broken play here on the snap, and Kevin Glenn hangs on wisely. Coming up to the expiration of the third quarter. Next play, barring penalty, be able the final play of the quarter. This uh, had trouble written all over it from the beginning. Well, the timing was off between Kevin Glenn and DeAndre Cobb. Glenn just has to improvise, try to avoid losing any yardage on the play. Six receiver set, Glenn to man again. But it's an incomplete pass. That's the final play of the third quarter. A scoreless quarter for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. The Stampeders run right back at them. They have a 2019 lead. Here are our numbers after three quarters. The Stampeders lead by one, heading to the fourth. Brought to you by Tim Hortons, proud sponsor of the CFL. 
It's been one of those twisted sort of football games where the Calgary Stampeders in the first half dominated the time of possession, but were behind on the scoreboard. The third quarter, Hamilton closed that gap a little bit, but lost ground in the score. And uh, a lot of it having to do with the wind here today. Uh, Calgary's feasted on the wind, been able to score with the wind. It comes maybe down to the fourth quarter, and Hamilton now has the wind, and maybe on the foot of an ex-Stampeder. Well, perhaps. We know Sandro DeAngelis loves those clutch situations, and today it would also mean an opportunity to redeem himself as he's gone just one for three. Yeah, he has been outkicked here today by the guy that he mentored a little bit in Rob Maver. Now Justin Pilardi, again one of the rookie kickers. This is a high wobbly one. Justin Pilardi won't be happy with that one with the wins. Don't forget on this Saturday, later tonight we take you out to the West Coast. BC Lions, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. Outdoor football again. What used to be Empire Stadium, Empire Fields tonight. It'll be very interesting to watch, to see. I love the idea, but ask me again in November. <laughs> So after that punt by Pilardi, wobbled out of bounds. Stampeders set up shop here at their 33. One point lead. Try to get their second win of the 2010 season. Little crossing pattern, PK Sam. Working with Rombie Bryant, Sam was able to get open. It's a nice tandem route between the two receivers. They cross in terms of their paths. That creates confusion for the defenders. A little bit of a pick. P.K. Sam is the man who comes free. Henry Burris finds him in the flat. Short yardage, twin backs. Joffrey Reynolds and Cornish, but Burris will keep it. I'm not so sure he got there. To see what the spot is. This could mean another third down plunge by Burris. It's almost a yard and a half. That extra push might just get it for Henry Burris. Had to get to beyond the 43-yard line. He's going to be short by a half yard. Less than a yard. you got to believe John Huffnagel's going to put his confidence in his offensive line. He'll bring in a few more big-bodied reinforcements from the sidelines go after this one. Calgary one for one on third down conversion so far. And here they go again. Mike Labingo in the backfield. Comes to the line now. Burris again. And uh, this is really going to depend on the spot, but that progression May have got it for him. That push. You can't get a much better stand than the Hamilton Tiger Cats came up with there. They'll but bring the sticks out again, it looks like here. Maybe just by a nose, Dwayne. Burris tucks in behind his right guard and right tackle. And it's going to be a first down. Another successful third down gamble for John Huffnagel and the Stampeders. Play action, Burris. And Rondy 
Bryant can't haul it in. That ball a little high for Bryant. Joaquin Bradley in on the coverage. There were paired routes there between Robbie Bryant and P.K. Sam. Both running outs. Bryant the deeper of the two, waiting to see how the defenders are going to react. Play action. Burris opts for the deep route. Five receivers in motion now. Second and ten. There's the rush. P.K. Sam out of the backfield. Penalty flag flies. Sam fumbled the ball, knocked out of bounds, and initial indication might be a holding call. Exactly what it is. So Calgary will have to bring their kick team out, and Burke Dales will have to boot this against this breeze. Holding Calgary number two. That penalty is declined. Third down. Now the great irony of this play is that PK Sam, number two, is the man who gets caught for holding. He's blocking Garrett McIntyre. The thing is, it's a screen. Sam wants to let him go. McIntyre's actually the one doing the holding because he recognizes the play. Loader against the wind. A thick hand is able to grab it. No yards, a 15-yard penalty. 12 minutes to go. One-point game on a beautiful day in southern Ontario. That's how we do it.